Listen to part of a lecture in a physics class. A wave is a disturbance that can move through space, has speed and contains energy. All waves have certain characteristics. They include frequency, wavelength, speed, direction, amplitude, and intensity. Some common waves are created by sound and electromagnetic energy. Sound waves contain, well, our sound, and we hear them when they cause vibrations in our ears. Electromagnetic energy contains a wide variety of elements that have waves. Some are radio waves, microwaves, infrared, ultraviolet, and visible light, and x-rays. Right now, I'd like to compare sound waves with radio waves and microwaves. Okay, what is this part about? What is the professor going to talk about today? Uh, first, she says what a wave is, right? And then, um, she's saying, um, she's talking about sound, and then electromagnetic energy, okay? And the examples of electromagnetic energy, uh, they are radio waves, microwaves, infrared, ultraviolet, and visible light, x-rays, okay? And she's going to compare sound waves with radio waves and microwaves today. This is what this part is about. A wave is a disturbance that can move through space, has speed, and contains energy. A wave... What is a wave? Wave is the form in which light or sound or... Um, radio signals travel. Okay, the form in which light, sound, or uh, radio waves travel is a disturbance. What is a disturbance? Disturbance is upsetting or disorganizing something uh, that was previously, which was previously uh, at a calm and well-ordered state. Is the uh, um, dis is Disturbing it, okay? Uh, making it out of order. Wave is a disturbance that can move through space, has speed. What is speed? Speed is how fast something moves and contains energy. What does contain mean? Contain means to have something as its part. Contain energy. What is energy? Energy is the power uh, with which you can do a physical thing or something that can make um, machines work or, um, or that can um, pr produce heat, right? All waves have certain characteristics. What's a characteristic? Characteristic is a part of something that makes it recognizable, okay? They include Frequency, wavelength, speed, direction, amplitude, and intensity. They include, what does that mean, include? Include means have something as, it, as its part, okay? Frequency, what is this? What does frequent mean? Frequent means something happening often, right? Uh, frequency is how many, how many times something vibrates, okay, in a specified period of time, how many times something uh, vibrates, okay. Wavelength. What is a wavelength? Wavelength is um, the distance between a part of a wave of an energy such as light, light or sound to um, to the next similar part to the next uh, s part which is at the same level. Do you understand?
so if this is the wave, right? Uh, see if I pick this part, okay? Then um, you find the part that it, the next part which is similar to that part, this part, right? So the length between these two um, points, these two parts are the uh, wavelength. You understand? Speed, direction, what is direction? Direction is where something is heading, where something is moving to. Do you understand? Or where something is looking at is the direction. Amplitude, what is, a what is amplitude? Amplitude is um, the strength, okay? The strength of uh, a sound wave or a radio signal, the strength, okay? And intensity, what is intensity? Uh, in intensity means uh, how strong something is. Some common waves are created by sound and electromagnetic energy. Some common waves, what does common mean? Common means uh, found in uh, large numbers, all right, or happening often. Some common waves are created by sound and electromagnetic energy. Okay, what is electromagnetic? Uh, electromagnetic relates to um, the electric, the electrical, or magnet, uh, and magnetical. Oh uh, no, electrical and magnetic force or effect that is produced um, from. Uh, from an electric current. Do you understand? Electromagnetic uh, relates to uh, the force, the electrical and magnetic force that is uh, produced from a um, electric current. That is electromagnetic. You get that? Electromagnetic energy. Sound waves contain sound and we hear them when they cause vibrations in our ears we hear them when they cause vibrations what does cause mean cause means make something happen causes vibration what is vibration vibration is <clears throat> the shaking movement okay with repeated a small um, and short uh, movement. Do you understand? Okay. The the uh, shaking movement uh, with repeated uh, small and quick movement. Okay, that is vibrating. Electromagnetic energy contains a wide variety of elements that have waves. Electromagnetic energy contains a wide variety. What is variety? Variety means um, a lot of things in a kind. Okay, so a lot of uh, elements that have waves. What is an element? Element is a part of something. Some are radio waves, microwaves, infrared, ultraviolet, and visible light and X-rays. What are these? I have to explain uh, the electromagnetic spectrum for you to understand. Wow, let's go. If you go this way, it's longer wavelength and uh, lower frequency. If you go that way, it's shorter wavelength and higher frequency. You understand? Okay. So this part of the spectrum is the visible light. This is the part where we see as colors visible okay and then if you go this way lower frequency longer wavelength you have infrared infrared is 
uh, you can see this ray only by using a special equipment like the equipment they use in the army you want to say and some of them are in our CCTVs today okay so they can uh, uh, film at nighttime when there's no light um, and then if you go uh, longer wavelength there's terahertz wave and then microwave and then radio wave okay and then if you go this way all right hold on and uh, microwave is the wave that you use in a microwave oven okay and then radio wave is the wave that you use in radio signals all right and then if you go this way it's ultraviolet this is um, this ray is from the sun okay and if you get exposed to this ray you will get your skin burned or the you will get dark colors in your skin all right and it's harmful and if you go more there's x-ray and gamma ray okay x-ray higher frequency shorter wavelength where is we x-ray used they are you uh, it's used um, x-rays can go through most solid materials so it's used by doctors to examine the bones and um, organs inside your body or uh, it's used in airplane uh, airports okay to look inside people's luggage to see if there's anything dangerous or something you understand so this is the spectrum electromagnetic spectrum it's good for you to know for background knowledge for TOEFL or any other scientific it's a scientific background knowledge it's good for you to know Okay, we can uh, do away with that now. Right now, I'd like to compare sound waves with radio waves and microwaves. I'd like to compare. What does that mean, compare? Compare means to consider things and discover their differences and similarities. Let's go to the next part.